Universe. This is Tom here, and I'm starting a brand new campaign with a totally different game than usual, I would suppose you'd have to say. Uh, basically, we're playing one, well, not basically, but we are playing XCOM 2, or the Chosen. However, this is a heavily modified version. Uh, there's at least a good 330 mods that are uh, a part and parcel of this, uh, this version that we're playing here. Um, it centers around a couple of big pieces. Uh, plays on here, um, which today we'll see, but probably a good 300 is mod for visual uh, uh, changes as well as some very minor changes. Enemy uh, difficulty gets ramped up, different type of monsters, beasts, and stuff like that that we see. Let me go through real quick to make sure we've got everything on the set up as quickly as possible here. Make sure I'm saying OBS. Looks like sound is good. The microphone is working as well, so that's all we need to see here. Specifics there, graphics, kind of set to kind of high. If things get kind of bogged down a little bit, because I am running OBS, it's the same for my recording as well as playing this game. If things get kind of bogged down, I can try to dial some of the stuff back here. Um, let's see here. Uh, I think I need to bump these all up by one. One R. Oops, not that high. Soldiers to uh, look a little bit different, unique. And the higher up the on this slide, these things are the uh, better chance we have of getting some fairly unique looking. These are like you know, chance of a this style of clothing equipment will show up here. Uh, pack, mod pack, I'll 
provide the, uh, the link to um, where I got it from, which YouTube streamer, YouTube streamer I got it from, Christopher Todd. Uh, he set this up. He wanted something more challenging. He liked to he want, he played uh, back last year on Legend difficulty with this mod pack. Um, it had a pretty cool time with it. Um, but looking it over, this difficulty level also influences like how many hit points Chosen have and, and other you know, big, big name monsters do too. Uh, legend level, Chosen are walking around with nearly 100 hit points. Uh, I think it's like 160, 40, 20, I think is what the, the levels are. And it varies between the type of Chosen and also the type of enemy monster uh, named monster as well. Uh, veteran, I think, will keep it on. Just have some, some sort of difficulty. If things seem too easy, we can bump it up to Commander as we go on. If things seem too hard, we'll bump it down to Rookie. <laughs> uh, we're going to start with Iron Man, since we're playing with so many add-ons right now. Uh, Iron Man, you only get one save. And if a character dies, it, the game immediately saves at that point. Um, in fact, the game already f the game knows when an enemy, uh, your soldier is going to die before you actually see the soldier die. The game's already saved them, so you don't have a chance to react. We won't play it that way, uh, or at least you know, won't be enabling Iron Man because with all these add-ons, modifications, maybe a situation you run into where there's, there's an issue uh, where the game's crashing, and it's already been saved at a point that you know, it's, it's crashing on, so we're kind of stuck and I had to I lose the campaign at that point. Save and try to try again, try to do it again. Uh, see if I can't get past that and crash it. However, if a soldier dies, the soldier dies. So we're, we are going to kind of go with a self imposed iron. We're not going to save scum, we're not going to uh, cheat, you know, somehow. Not that that soldier survived. So console commands. On that note, I do have console came, uh, commands enabled. That is for a particular bug. Rescue a uh, VIP, and you're trying to bring it back. It's a well-known bug where they're able to move on the first turn, but afterwards that VIP is stuck. It's like they have zero action points. So I use the console command, give the VIP 15 action points, to be able to get in, you know to be able to get out and at least succeed in the mission. Where normally that would then be an automatic fail. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can you can reload, keep reloading. It's just a bug that just keeps it. You know keeps. Let's start without Iron Man here. Uh, we're going to uncheck this, the integrated downloadable content. The reason for that is um, there are some named enemies, uh, monsters, that appear much later in the game. We'll run into eventually, many, many, many missions down the road. Um, that, with this checked, they appear only in select areas, uh, select missions, and that's it. Um, this says no. It'll still appear later on down the road, but it's kind of random where they might appear, so that makes things a little more difficult. We are going to select these missions, though. Um, while while the content, if it was unchecked, the content would still be available. I would like the, the actual mission, the story of, of this, the nest, and also the mission's last, last gift. I kind of want to see those. Um, I've done this before on your XCOM 2. Like to do it in this format to see kind of how that goes. Accessing the feed now. We're in, but I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go.
creates a timeline you placed upon us. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider, report. So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned.
set an ambush. One pod five, we have a confirmed three. location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. So there's the two prisoners. They're spread far apart. We're operating in the shadows. In the shadows. So this is kind of a... I mean, it's, it's a standard advent base. That we're in a different, a different landscape here. Probably isn't anybody down here. There's probably, like I said, three pods are probably... So here, let's move one guy up into hard cover. Okay. That's Adrian now got here. Let's move on to the next person. Jeremiah. Okay. See anything? So As Templar warriors, my followers specialize in wielding psionic energy. Mastering the power that belongs to all who are truly of this earth. Through intense focus, we can twist the very fabric of the world around us to suit our needs. So, with the War of the Chosen, especially with the, the, the Adam back here, you do start with at least one of the, uh, the faction troops. Think War of the Chosen. Um, you had to go for each one. And you were, the first two, uh, Skirmisher and uh, Reapers, you had to go get them in separate missions. But with, the, with this add-on pack, it's, I think you just get a random faction soldier right off the bat. In this case, we got a Templar, which uses psionic powers to to uh, start start killing tenants until start killing fools. Um, and you can read the specifics here. They get a couple points of focus, or they get uh, focus each time they kill somebody. Trooper and a sectoid. That's one pod. Three. Betting. So. Heading there now. Here, just in case they come our way. Now, a few things you can see with the add-ons. It makes the game a little bit different. This is uh, the soldier info. Uh, when they're grayed out, that means they're. This is how many action points they have. The number there. They're grayed out. They can't do anything really other than freebie actions. And it kind of keeps you. Uh, you can see like their health there. And, other aspects. I haven't used this. I guess the top is their rank, and this is their uh, class. And then this will be their picture once we take a picture. But it's, it's pretty cool. That's their name, too. It's pretty cool. I haven't used it, uh, but I, I saw an action uh, in uh, Cuts for Odds uh, 2022 series. Very, very cool. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use you know, all his add-ons that he's currently using and, and uh, see how effective this is in, in later missions as well. Um, this is one of the add-ons we use. This is another one as well. Uh, this should be active is what, what uh, enemy units are literally active and reacting to us. This is how many we've killed. Um, kind of handy at least, you know, keep, an eye, keep a track on you know, what, what's out there. This is another add-on too. You see, we had these are colorized. Yellow is a turn is a turn ending. That means it's going to use up all your action points. Green means it's free, uh, which which is weird because of much others not quite free. It's free for you, but it's not free for everybody else on your team. And that's another add-on as well too. I have uh, the Overwatch All add-on, which allows you to um, you can use Overwatch others if you moved everybody like we have right now, and then. You're going to have um, the person that's going to, that's selecting this or watch others. You're going to have them uh, perform an action, like throw a grenade or you know, start lighting, lighting up the enemy. You can click Overwatch others, get everybody else overwatched, and then you can do your action. You can also select Overwatch all, which means everybody's finished their move or you don't want to do anything or whatever. You can say, everybody is going to overwatch. Another cool add-on to Preview LOS. Uh, this will show you 
It's kind of janky uh, in regards to that it's very, you can see, moving around, it's it stutters around quite a bit until you settle in. It'll, t it'll show you where you're able to see based on where you are. So, like this guy, you can see everywhere. If we were here, the, uh, the lighter squares you can see, the darker squares you can't see. So it's, it's pretty handy, but probably not something we're going to use a lot, but I figured it's it's something to, to keep in, in mind. Um, there's something else we have here. Oh yeah, Stunning Strike. This is also an add-on. Uh, melee Strike to Subdue and Stun Weakened Enemies. I mean, you can't walk up to a Sectoid and go, oh, I'm going to use a Stunning Strike, and you don't know, expect it to do anything. From my understanding, I haven't used it yet. But it's basically like a physical attack that all of your soldiers have. So long as, based on what it's saying here, so long as a uh, enemy is, has been weakened, they've taken uh, some hits, uh, some health hits, you can walk up to them and you have a chance, kind of like an, an arc thrower, I suppose, you have a chance to to knock them out, subdue them, or actually just kind of stun them for a period of time. Pretty handy if like, you're, you know, <laughs> not able to reload, or your weapon's not working, or whatever the case might be. In this case here, we're just going to simply go watch all. I'm on it. Roger. And I've got my eyes on. Watch came uh, available to them is going to do just that. We look and see if the enemy's moving towards us or away. It's away. Okay. So we know where they're going. We kind of want to hunt them down, but we want to be very cautious of that. I do want to take out. That'd be a great pod to take out first. So we'll wait and see. Let's get somebody that's fairly close up. Yeah. And for example, here, it looks like we've only got soft cover all around. Now he sees them. That's good. Right, let's move. Let's move the rest of our people up here. Begebe mich zum Ziel. Affirmative. Moving out. Moving on target location. Moving. I know what to do, Commander. So we're just going to simply say Overwatch all. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Overwatch. It's another mod too. We have six soldiers. Or people that played XCOM 2 probably just used to four at start. Um, more people you have, of course, the better off you are. The uh, War of the Chosen and, and the series of add-ons especially make things more difficult, so you definitely need more soldiers, period. Um, let's well, we'll be careful how far we move out here, but I don't feel there's anybody, I don't think there's anybody out here. So let's just go here. Getting it done. Take, take a chance, see what goes on. Did see somebody? Yes, the a trooper there. I think we're going to try to lay up a, an ambush here. Go, go, go! Understood. So we're going to keep you guys where you're at for right now. Moving to designated yeah. position. Now we shall say. Moving to Overwatch. See if they're going to go around. Walking around the, the building here. Yeah, they're going to walk around the building. So there's still a couple more pods out that we don't know where they're at, but let's let's arrange ourselves. Affirmative, here. moving out. Staggered fire firing line. Um, let's use that. Position confirmed. I know what to do, Commander. Yeah, I'm glad you do. Uh, you... Which I think will keep everybody else where you're at this point in time. Let's just watch everybody. Eyes on the prize. 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 Understand that. Bien. Here. 
Verstanden. Bin unterwegs. Moving. because if he moves at all, trouble will ensue. We can pop a grenade on all three, so wait on you. Uh, you can't see anybody, and I might want you to run up and rend somebody, so I'm not going to do anything with you just yet. We're going to overwatch you. We're going to have you open the door. That doesn't seem to proc anything at this point, and honestly, no, I don't want inside the building just yet. Uh, you're definitely going to watch there. On Overwatch. Watch our flank here. You are 
also going to overwatch to provide some reactive fire. Roger, I've got my eyes on. All right. So we're going to throw a grenade. Like here. Grenade! Watch two troopers die and these. Focus our energy, our power increases and can be unleashed upon our enemies. And if we had parry, then we can instead use that momentum ability to, I think, and spend an actual uh, a, a focus point to then parry. I believe. We'll see how that works. But he doesn't have parry, so no point. He can move out of there, though, but honestly, actually, yeah, up there. On it! That's where I was looking at moving this guy, but. It's a safe spot for him. Um, two pods down, a third is still out here. Uh, let's move you inside here. Okay, ich gehe. Take the chance. I'm not sure where he's gonna go. I'll probably peel right. See that he's got that. Uh, oh, actually, lost sight of him. Uh, let's hunker him down. Then. Oh, actually, no. Let's overwatch. He runs in there. Got it covered. We can kill him with one shot. Um, get this guy here. Also throw a grenade and kill 
this trooper. Mach dich bereit für eine Überraschung! Me also throw the frag grenade. It's not going to kill the Abenoser. We have no way to kill the Abenoser, but let's at least throw a grenade. Preparados para una sorpresa. Use my grenades; they're free. For sure damage, for sure kills in some cases. All right, let's see what the Abenoser does here. This guy attack button. Watch. Please hit. 37% chance, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get shot. it. Now he's being flanked, so this will be bad. Ah, can't take much more of this! Almost killed him. By the numbers. Mission accomplished. So, not flawless. Soldier got wounded there. Okay, I figured that was going to get uh, flanked anyway, but I was hoping that he'd be able to kill uh, flanking admin trooper with that overwatch shot. Tense. But that's okay. Let's take a photo. The message says basically that you won't be able to. Done by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders. Trust in their wisdom, and we shall overcome this crisis.
so gravely wounded, actually. But yeah, he got critted, so that definitely makes sense. Everybody gets a potion except for our temple. It's a bummer. Glad to see our troops finding success in the field. It's good for the entire crew's morale. Glad everybody gets a good so that's fine. So we got a basic scope, 5% aim, direct shots, increase the range accuracy. That's in the base one still. We've got five drawer courses, two option courses, and seven drawer courses. So I've got a uh, scientist and an engineer. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, we can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. We should keep looking for more recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. Not sure why that's showing in yeah, mom's picture there, but anyway, that's an engineer. And a scientist. Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. Probably was taking a lot of them. Again, 330 modifications Commander, to their game. Combat against the aliens day in and day out is no easy task. And eventually the stress takes its toll in various ways. We'll need to keep an eye on each soldier to manage their traits. X-C-O-M! What's that spell? XCOM! <laughs> That's right. Another win for our guys and girls in black, making the elders miserable one day at a time. If you happen to come across one of our brave friends, make sure you thank them for their service. So, yeah, these are some of the negative. Well, some are negative. There actually could be some positive traits as well that get acquired. You know, traits that you don't want to lose. In this case here, minus optimism, bias, minus five aim, and out of half cover. I like that instinct. I just get really tired having to constantly to the sides because that's what you do when you're covering The Advent the propaganda machine is running full steam. We're picking up their transmissions even way out in the middle of nowhere. So Adrian got some here. So this is the big add-on of covered infiltration. We'll see what it does here momentarily, but basically it works uh, deals with the covered ops and other aspects of the game. It, it makes the game a little bit more Simulation, but more of a risk taking type of venture. Um, you have limited resources and you got a lot of stuff thrown at you, you know, in, in XCOM 2. This uh, heaps more onto that, so we'll, we'll see the specifics that it provides here. There's a bunch of tutorials that, that uh, you'll, you'll see here in your playthrough. Ferocious by Gabby. Commander to the research labs. All right, let's do that research lab. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, Given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Well, that's why we got the scientists to decrease research time by 33%. <laughs> that's uh, stuff that takes four days, takes three now. We we'll also did build a laboratory eventually because some later, later game stuff takes longer and longer to research. We need a laboratory that we can then staff with other scientists to further decrease the research time. So we got three options modular weapons, which is an offensive type nature. You can see what unlocks there. Uh, different weapons and now. Hybrid materials, more defensive nature, planned armor. Uh, also, uh, the other. Well, this is partial, so I think there are other things that are needed before we get the full aspect there. But anyway, uh, we'll get a nanoscale vest as well. Alien biotech. It is 
specific uh, infirmary and a whole bunch of autopsies available as well. Maybe seeing some things there go. I don't know what that is or what that is. Or, you know, but yeah, there's some things here. See some quests. So those exclamation marks are for a bunch of stuff is what this opens up. So I think actually the biotech is what I'm going to go for first. It's only three days. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. All right, on to engineering. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Commander, to the armory. Yeah, we'll go there. Uh, we can start building You'd be items. surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Anywhere from 10 to 15 supplies will cost. We will need a, a medikit, so let's get that off of there. Can't build any weapons or armor yet, because that takes research. Yeah, so nothing we can really do here otherwise. Let's go to the armory. As far as I can tell, advanced technology, along with most of what we've seen going on in the city centers, is based on variations, and in some cases, improvements of the existing alien tech used during the invasion. Luckily, the more common the stuff becomes, the easier it'll be for us to find components that can work in conjunction with the Avengers hybrid systems. And you see what we already killed. I have had troopers, two officers, one sector. We'll see more hanging here. Set up in other locations too. This is the photo we took last battle, taking battles at the end of each of our uh, successful missions, of course. And any time when a soldier gets promoted, like now, for example. Um, overall, looking at the soldiers, looks like a five health is what you start with. Sixty-five aim. The will is randomized. Uh, the lowest there is thirty-six. The highest. Is So, ability is all set to 12. First time playing through this mod pack, so yeah, I'm used to, there's a mod pack, or a mod that I'm used to using that randomizes your soldier stats, and it doesn't look like that's the case here for, I mean, obviously the will is randomized, but everything else looks like it's the same. So, eh, I mean, that's kind of a good aspect and a bad aspect, so it is what it is there. All right, uh, oh, we can hover over here. So we got a genius. Uh, these are the combat, uh, what's a CI? Combat intelligence. This uh, com CI is what determines how many AP uh, uh, points you get towards, you know, experience, if you will, that you get. Genius, you get more than somebody that has some standard, as you see on the left hand side underneath the portrait. So they're standard, they're, they're, they're the risk taker, the bear, bear skin rug on you. Standard, gifted. These units too angry to die. Upon experiencing one lethal blow in a mission, they'll survive the damage. Become berserk and immune to incoming damage the rest of their turn. Uh, that could be good. That could be bad. Uh, berserk, I think, would then mean that the AI takes control. Uh, so that's, that's not necessarily a good thing, but it is what it is. 
things. Standard, so I have a couple of genius. Above average, I think that's better than standard. Yeah, above average, standard, standard, above average. Genius, oh, I have a few geniuses. Um, and a gifted. Um, savant is the one I was thinking of. The CI, I was hoping to see somebody had a savant. Choose a class. So you can see up top here all the classes we have available in Templar. So we currently have uh, that's the, the uh, faction trooper that we have. Uh, we have uh, Templar, Reaper, and also a Skirmisher coming down the road. The other classes we have are Tech Specialist, Sapper, Rookie is what currently everybody is right now, uh, Phalanx, Marksman, Marine, Field Medic, Combat Engineer, and Assault Infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different classes that your soldiers can become, plus the three faction uh, soldiers you can get. That's 11, plus there's going to be, uh, we can build our own mech, a spark in the game. So that's 12. I think there's an add-on in this mount mod pack that gives subclasses to the uh, spark, but otherwise that's a dozen, a dozen different classes in this game, so there's a lot of uniqueness and dimensionality available. Um, currently what's in green is who's available, so we have one rookie that's that's wounded, of course. So we want one of everything at least. We're not going to get that because that's eight classes here. Only five people got promoted. I'm sorry, we're going to be missing out. I do want a field medic. I do want a marksman. A tech specialist would also be ideal too. So if I get, if I get one of those three at least, I'll be very, very happy. Uh, combat engineers excel at providing both offensive and defensive support on the battlefield using their gauntlet gadgets and either a shotgun or cannon. So she's got strapped like a, a flamethrower or a wrist rocket on her. Phalanx. This is a new class of that I don't have experience with, but using a shield to protect themselves and others uh, using the wall under down. The Phalanx uh, specializes in taking round or rushing objectives and otherwise too dangerous for other units. They can use pistols and the ballistic shield. Um, yeah, let's, let's get to the new class right off the bat. Commander, Soldier the media type. is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the resistance. So we'll take a photo. Yeah, I like this. Very nice. Demure. You know, she's a badass, though. Don't I think we need more dead aliens to get the effect we're going for. Oh, good point, Chef. Thank you. All right, let's move on to our next. Let's choose his class here. 
Marine and Assault and Infantry. Um, I don't know if Exile Military Forces, the Marines are mobile infantry, skilled using automatic weapons and bounding maneuvers. They can use assault rifles or cannons. That's a primary weapon. And assault off shotguns is secondary. Assault infantry is a dominating force in close quarters combat. The resilient and aggressive assault infantry specializes in taking and holding ground. They can use shotguns or bolt pumps as a primary weapon, and swords or combat knives. So basically, they're kind of like the Templar or Skirmisher in that regard, that they, they like to go in hand to hand combat and they're pretty good at it. Um, but they're, they have, they have their own quirks. They're, they're, all of these classes are unique in their own way. They have some overlap in some areas, but you know, they're. Um, I already have a Templar. I don't think I need an Assault Infantry. Let's, t let's take a Marine for a right now. Fire Discipline. So this is a, in, the, in the actual tactical map. Uh, this will be a toggle that we can set. So when they go to Overwatch, we can tell them... Uh, and we can set it to like... Uh, I think it defaults to 0% anyway. 0, 33, or 66. You can say... Uh, With all that's been going on, Never really had time to consider the possibility, but I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. Mind finder central, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, Fire Display is a toggle that you can do uh, in the game when you're on them. You just click the button uh, and you cycle through 0, 33, or 66 for the chance of, of hitting something. Uh, basically, when you're in Overwatch and, you, and you're going to take a reactive fire, you can toggle to say, Okay, when your chance to hit is what the toggle is set to, 0%, 33%, 66%, go ahead and fire. So it defaults to 0%, meaning just fire away. It doesn't matter if you have no chance to hit, fire anyway. Um, or you can set it to you know, 33 or 66, meaning you got to have at least this chance minimum before you'll, you'll pull the trigger. So it can't help at times where uh, you, know, you want to have some better fire discipline overall. <laughs> That's why it's called fire discipline. Sustained fire. Uh, taking a direct shot will not end the turn, but any remaining action points will be converted to a special type that only allow overwatching, suppressing, or reloading. Normally, taking a shot ends your turn. Um, it's, it's a yellow colored icon. Uh, in this case, I believe for them it's, it goes blue, and then their, own, their only options are overwatch, suppression, or reloading their weapon. Uh, you can't do movement or throw grenades. Um, you can still do other actions, green actions especially you can do, of course. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else they may get uh, that they could possibly do, which we'll, we may find out as we play further on. But anyway, pretty handy. That means, you know, if they're sitting in cover at the start of their turn, they can take a fire, bang, and whatever, you know, whatever the outcome of that, they can then go, okay, I'm going to go on Overwatch now, or I'm going to suppress this other target, you know, or I need to reload. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool ability. Uh, I mean, obviously you could go, well, you know, I guess you could reload first and then fire, you know, but yeah, it, it's cool though. If it's like your last shot, fire, then reload after that. Pretty cool ability for Marines. Suppressive fire, suppressive pin down enemies through volume fire, grants both single target and zone suppression abilities. This XCOM 2 people's group, uh, familiar with this. Same ability for the Marines here. It's, that's what they're, they're does use a bunch of ammo, I think two rounds, so if we want to switch to a cannon, you know, something that's got a lot of, a lot of ammunition to it, but very, very handy to have. Let's throw you, there you go, contemplative thinking. Alrighty, next one here, two down, three to go. This is Jeremiah, he got wounded 14 days, that's why I was going to pick him up. Take my picture, go. So, uh, Common Engineer and Marine. We already have a Marine, so let's go ahead and select Common Engineer, because they excel in providing both offensive and defensive support of the battlefield using their gauntlet and gadgets and either a shotgun or a cannon. I think we just described that uh, earlier. Basically, they get a wrist rocket or flamethrower, to, uh, I think a flamethrower in this case, to be able to you know, light up enemy units near them. Which that's what that describes there. It's an ability to tweak the gauntlet flamethrower's capabilities, which improves with the experience. Uh, suppressive fire, same as what the Marine has. Nothing different there. Defensive mine, that's what uh, Reapers get. Uh, it, you can lay down a little, little mine. Um, in that square, you put it, and every adjacent square tile around it. 
it uh, will do da light damage thing, two or three points of damage. Um, maybe four. It might, it might be like a standard grenade kind of, you know, like, uh, explosion. Any anybody that comes in range. It, a cool ability, that, a cool thing to do with this, like when you're concealed, and you know you get enemy coming towards you, put a defensive mine down, hopefully like in a, in a um, uh, chokehold uh, type of area. And as the enemy comes through it, they'll set it off. Boom! Now you know. And <laughs> now Bob's your uncle. All right, let's go ahead and take a picture of them. Uh, man, my, my guys are like deep in thought and like going to modeling school. Rodrigo. Oh yeah. That's the guy with the cloak. Oh yeah, I love him already. Let's see what we got available. Sapper and Marine. Ready to know what Marine does? The Sapper provides long range explosive support and is adept at disrupting enemy fortifications and formations. Can use the assault rifles or shotguns and the grenade launcher or rocket launcher. We'll go ahead and just take them because we don't have one. Explosive ordnance. Their capacity for explosive mayhem increases with experience. That's good to hear. They can launch a grenade uh, using the grenade launcher, which shoots them far, a lot farther than you can throw. Um, and also, they get two grenades that they can use with their grenade launcher. Defensive mine, which oh, I didn't realize they got defensive mine as well. Uh, it must be something new for the class, because I don't remember them getting that in my previous playthroughs, but that's cool. A lot of people, I got several people that have defensive mine. Oh, he's doing the same thing. No, no, no. There you go. There you go. The cloak's got to gotta go free. Alrighty, last guy. Abby. What you gonna be? I like her outfit. She's gonna be like a uh, field medic. I don't care. I don't care what's it's, it's, it's sapper. I need a field medic. Excuse <coughs> me. Oh, field medic. It's quick and versatile support unit. It's equipped to provide the medical assistance needed to keep your squad on their feet. Uh, they can use assault rifles and as a uh, secondary weapon, the arc thrower or pistols. Their medical proficiency uh, improves with experience. Which that's, I mean, for all classes, I think that's just this skill, quote unquote, basically is just like, you know, descriptive. It's not like an actual skill they have in, in the game or so. Uh, sedate. When using the arc thrower to stun an ally, the stun effect will always be applied for the minimum duration and will not apply any additional negative effects. Any active mind control effects on the target will be cleansed and stun, stun wears off. So sectoid mind control is your guy. Field medic swoops in, uses the arc thrower, which I think is an auto hit at that point, I think. Um, and will clear clear the mind control and that stun effect lasts for the shortest length of time possible. Maybe a turn? I think two might be the normal. Um, you can use it offensively as well, where have a chance to stun, or if it doesn't, and you've hit, uh, if it doesn't stun, then it'll, um, oh, what's the other, there's another negative option, that uh, disorient, that's what I was thinking, it'll disorient them, which means it lowers their chance to hit, they can also kind of lower their, their ability as well, so they can't do this far. Battlefield triage, healing, stabilizing, bobbing ally, reduce wound times for heavily injured soldiers, so we had a field medic last mission there. Uh, if the field medic is conscious after a mission, they can use any remaining medical supplies to provide stabilizing medical treatment while in transit back to the Avengers. Not only will it shorten, so like they grave, they've had a field medic last mission, not they wouldn't be uh, the soldier wouldn't be gravely wounded. It would be just you know wounded or something like that, moderately wounded or whatever. Anyway, it wouldn't be taking as long as it is now. Um, in addition, I think the field medics get two applications with their. Um, Uh, medic equipment, I think. Um, anyway, any treatments they have available, they have at least one treatment available, I should say, uh, they can then uh, lower the, um, the amount of time it takes to recover as well when you're on board the Avenger. Right? That's what's we're referring to. Uh, nice picture. I really like that outfit. That's that's really cool. It just looks kind of like uh, I've been watching The Mentalist recently. It looks like uh, it's like Jane. <laughs> that, that, that outfit, pretty cool. All right, so we got everybody taken care of here. We got one person's wounded out for 14 days. We'll 
that's why. Uh, command, not much we need to do here. Um, I really did the vendor report. Oh, okay, interesting. I have a vendor report. It's really no Objectives, we don't have any at this point in time, but that'll get filled up pretty, pretty soon here. One more thing to do. Let's go to the bridge. Um, select an operation. So let's go do that real quick here. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. It's like we're using some old 80s equipment and all <laughs> in there. Proactive deployment it gives you a little bit more info about covered, um, covered infiltration. Basically, the upshot is that there'll be a whole bunch of missions, covered ops that we can do that provide a whole bunch of cool rewards. We have a limited number of resources, soldiers in this case, and two, some covered ops may require a, a scientist and or engineer to be applied, um, as well as supplies, intel, Effects. In any event, covered ops can provide some cool things. We just need to make sure that you know we're throwing the appropriate resources to them and still have enough left back for whatever we need that might pop up. So while we have say 16, 15 soldiers available right now, I don't want to throw all 15 on covered ops at this point, leaving nobody to a defend the Avenger if we get attacked, which that's not going to happen for a while. But anyway. That or B, if there's a mission that pops up that we need to take care of right away, covert ops can take a while, anywhere from like a week to two weeks or more in some cases, depending upon it. You know, some some covert ops require uh, are, are chained, meaning there's um, an extra part to it, uh, and also require infiltration, uh, hence the name covert infiltration, meaning you have to spend you, you should spend more time to gain uh, better environmental effects that might ha might help sway the battle in your favor. We'll see that in action here momentarily. This new Templar operative may be a bit unique, but so far everything seems on the level. We're receiving the position of the Templar HQ now. We don't know much about these Templars, so it might be worth sticking around here for a while, as well as contacting Geist, their leader. My people understand the value of our cooperation, Commander. The Elders see us as nothing more than raw materials for their design. We will take back our power and turn it against them. I greet you as an ally facing a shared enemy. My followers seek balance with the psionic forces that flow through the Earth and all its inhabitants. We channel this energy, aided by technology of our own design, to pursue justice for those who have fallen victim to the Elders and their servants. So each faction provides faction orders that you can apply each month, start of the month, uh, in the resistance ring, which we don't build yet, that in turn provide its own special, you know, abilities. Uh, in this case, the Templars were, would be giving us Hidden Reserves 1 and Tithe. The covert actions that they're also providing here, uh, we'll, we'll check into just momentarily, but each faction will provide covert actions. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Um, we'll get to it, but not right now. Uh, basically, yeah, we'll want to go there. Uh, we could sit here and get our soldier back that's taking 14 days. Um, which could be very, very helpful at this point. But we may need the supplies as well. In any event, we need to select an operation, as that says. So... We need to find the other factions. The Reapers, which are snipers, looked up in the picture. Skirmishers, which are hand-to-hand. -hand. And the Templars are giving us a whole bunch of different covert ops that we can do as well, too. First, we want to find a Reaper. We need we need a Marksman. Uh, did I get it? I don't think I got a Marksman, so yeah, I need one. So doing this covert op, the reward's going to be a Reaper. Uh, a sniper in this particular case here. That's what the Reapers are. Deployable resources required are two soldiers, one of whom will get plus one to their mobility. Sounds good. Risk, moderate, which means maybe 50 50 chance or something like that, 30% chance, I don't know. Uh, a soldier gets wounded. Doesn't mean they will, but they might. 
Um, our influence currently with the Reapers is low because we haven't located them yet. <laughs> so let's go to the email. Duration is going to take 10 days. This tells you more about covert actions and specifics in that. The TLDR again is typically covert actions don't result in a, uh, in a combat engagement. They will. It will though if um, there's, a, there's a chance of a risk of an ambush and, and it happens. So if you ever see that there's, you know, there's an ambush chance for a particular mission, that might mean you might see some combat. So you may want to put your better soldiers forward in the case of battle gear. Um, covered options take a certain ter amount of time as well. Covered actions, I should say, take a certain amount of time. Uh, each additional, or each person that you put on there adds additional day. So this covered action will start off in 10 days. Each person you put on, put it to, is going to add two more days. So that's 12 days to Certain types of equipment may actually increase that by a certain number of hours or days, depending. Uh, you don't want to, there's certain equipment you don't even want to take, as well, you know, and let you know. And yeah, you can read the rest of there and kind of get the, the gist of what the add on does for covered actions. The cool thing about all this is you get to do more, it's just there is increased risk. Very, very, very cool. We don't want you guys because there's no chance of getting. Nine days, nine hours. Uh, doesn't matter. It's the plus one ability, but we put our rookies to task here. Get a bonus mobility and I'll their help. That's the score. Eleven days, nine hours. Two guys, good luck. Now we'd love to contact the skirmishers, but you can see it requires a sergeant or higher. Soldier, we don't have that. That's two more promotions away. Uh, we're just squaddies right now. I think Corporal is next. After that is Sergeant. So we got to get some promotions on our belt. So it'll take a little while for sure. And that, that's the nature of the beast. It kind of randomizes this. Sometimes it's the Reaper, sometimes the Templar, sometimes the Corporal. So we'll find them for a uh, Sergeant to find them. That's just to kind of slow it down so you don't you don't start off you know the game too quickly with all the faction soldiers possible. We start off with one, we, we can get a second pretty soon, within, you know, a month, and the other one, maybe two months, you know, so it kind of, kind of slowed down a bit. So the Templar's saying, hey, we'll let you find the black market, that's a reward, of course two soldiers, one of them will get uh, plus four of their will, no risks whatsoever, so we'll do just that. It doesn't matter if we get the will, it's going to be Support of your soldiers. Now we got three other form soldier bond, which that's a reward. Uh, the soldiers involved gets uh, a little better um, or increased bond threshold, whatever. In other words, they'll, they'll definitely get bonded and get that first level of bonding. And this type of uh, uh, op you want to run with, uh, you know, with, with guys that are already bonded, so that way they get get to the second level that much quicker. But it's always good to start off with as well. Uh, requires two soldiers, one of them will get plus four will. Uh, the risk, which is moderate that a soldier gets wounded, can be negated entirely by providing 25 supplies. We'll do just that. We'll throw two rookies so that we can get a uh, promotion. This is a plus four will. Commander. Uh, investigate rumors. This one gives some more scanning. 
building sites. Currently we only have one that gives us supplies and we'll take 10 days to get those supplies. This could give us some more sites uh, quicker than normal. Requires two soldiers. Uh, well, requires one soldier who gets the health plus one. The risk is moderate that the soldier gets wounded, but if we throw another soldier in, that'll negate that risk entirely. Um, we have 10 soldiers left. That could be worth it. That'll leave us eight. This one is gather meld. What would this require here? Let's see what this does. Its reward is 34 crystallized meld, which we need for building some things down the road, so kind of handy to get early on. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, required a uh, soldier, two soldiers actually, that are promoted at least, squaddies, which we do have, one of whom will get plus one health. And then a moderate chance for a soldier getting wounded and a minor chance for a soldier getting captured, but we can negate that soldier being captured by applying the scientist or engineer. I would probably be uh, wanting to apply the scientist, uh, which would increase the research time we're currently researching. But nonetheless, that way we can avoid the soldier being captured. The soldier gets captured, the Chosen gain uh, information about the Avenger, which is bad. <laughs> Even at this stage of the game, or at the beginning of the game, that's bad. Um, and also then I think you have to go on a, a mission to then rescue them, like we just had this last last, uh, last mission there. Um, which means that you have an increased chance of more soldiers getting wounded or even killed in order to rescue the, this guy that should have been in a safe op. So we definitely want to negate that by applying one of these. We don't want to put the engineer because I want to use that one engineer we have to start building something, the resistance ring, or start digging out uh, one of the uh, one of the spots that they're able to dig out. Um, so that's four soldiers total leaves us six. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that then. Let's do the investigate rumors. Plus one guy. Five health doesn't matter. So the only one we can't do is skirmishers, but we're doing all the other ops at this point. That leaves us kind of strained. We only have six six guys left, a few rookies, some squaddies, but otherwise we're all set. The last thing we need to do, we have an engineer that's not doing anything. Commander, I appreciate you Maybe recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. You're right, we can. So there's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. And this is the reason take touch with the resistance ring and also the real tactics tool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of tutorials in this in this and this mod mod pack uh, modification specifically that tell you all the different changes that have happened. Uh, lot, I I want to say they're all very good. There's nothing I, I find uh, untoward. So, very, very cool. 
it's written. So you saw we, we were doing kind of the covert actions right off the bat. Resistance ring is what you need in, in XCOM 2, um, or the Chosen, in order to, um, or in XCOM 2 as well, I believe, in order to do the uh, covert actions. The, uh, you can see with the resistance ring, it'll unlock the resistance orders uh, and then some extra upgrades as well. Um, so we, we definitely want to get that built. So, that's really interesting. Um, exposed power coils are way at the bottom. Oh, that's terrible. I prefer to be here, higher up, so that way I can get to them quickly, or yeah, quickly enough, and be able to put in a power power unit when they're on the bottom here. So, oh, that's gonna take a while. We're gonna be kind of gimped for quite a while here until we get down there, and then be able to build a, a power unit. Um, so we can build a facility, resistance ring, or we can clear some, some clear through some of these, actually two of these, that we can clear through here. Supplies 28, I think it just takes five days there, this one's further down, so I think it takes ten days for this one. We have 57 supplies and 70 million hours. Or we can build a resistance ring, we can take some supplies and some power. You can see the other things we can build, training center, power relay, which we don't want to build. Addition with exp exposed power coils, you get five additional power when you put one of these on there. And Grill Tactics School, which we also want that too, but for right now, we're building resistance ring is, you can see, it's a quest. We want to go and get that done. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Put uh, Munya Imam on it. It should only take six days. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, whatever. Anyway, we have nothing going on right this very moment here. We do need to scan for the supplies, but at this point, we have been going for almost an hour and a half. And I want to thank you guys for watching me on this here. I'm going to save the game real quick. Um, let's say new save. And we will do that. Save the game here, and I will see you guys next episode, where we'll have some more exciting things happen. Thanks for watching.